It's Pelle here from Editing Visuals and in today's video I will be showing you guys how to make the trippy particle effect in Autofus. Tell me what you guys think about the new camera upgrade, I think it's pretty pretty good so far. <laughs> we're going to start off by importing a clip into our composition here, I'm using a clip of pop smoke here. And we're going to start off by rotor brushing the clip here. And if you don't know how to rotor brush, I made a tutorial on it, which will be linked in the description. After you have rotor brush, you should get this kind of result here, it looks pretty cool in my opinion. But the first thing I'm going to do is basically to duplicate this, so I'm going to press Ctrl D two times. I'm going to go to the bottom layer here, delete the rotor brush effect. After that, we're going to go up to the middle layer here, and we're going to be adding CC ball action. And this effect is basically the effect that's going to make the actual particles. I'm going to sort off by decreasing the grid spacing to zero. After that, I'm going to set the ball size to 65, then the scatter to minus one. After that, set the displays to 150, and don't forget to make the top layer invisible here. After that, I'm going to set the displays property to saturation. So we get this kind of look here. I think it looks pretty cool. And then to get that little like noisy look to the particles here, we're going to be holding alt, press the clock here on scatter motion. And here I'm going to type time store key 300. This is how it looks now here. It looks pretty cool. After that, we're going to be adding colorama. Here I'm going to open up input phase, set the add phase form to saturation, then hold alt, press the clock here on phase shift, type time store key 1000 you will get this kind of look now i'm going to change the colors a little bit because uh, i don't want to have all the like rainbow colors to this i'm going to have a little bit more purple blue kind of colors here so i'm going to set the yellow one here to some pink purple the red one here to blue and the green one here to blue and you will get this kind of look instead then we're going to add the glow to this layer Drag down the threshold, around 50% looks good. After that, Ctrl D on the glow, increase the radius to 250, Ctrl D again, set the glow radius to 500, and now we're going to be dragging down the glow intensity on the glows. I'm gonna drag down the third glow here to 0.7, the second glow, 0.8, and the first glow, 0.5. After that, I'm going to change the blending mode of the layer to screen. It's pretty difficult to see him, so we're just going to make the top rotor brush layer visible and then just change the blending mode to screen. So now it's going to pop just a little bit more so you can see him through. And this is how it looks now. It looks pretty, pretty cool in my opinion. And this is basically how the effect looks. It looks super cool in my opinion. But if you guys want to step up your editing even more, we could use a effect from my color glitch pack. And for that effect, we're basically going to go back into our rotor brush layer here with the particles. And we're going to set the displays to zero. So it's just going to look something like this. After that, you're going to be pre-composing the whole composition here. And we're going to be adding the color glitch effect 31. It's not out yet, but I'm going to update the pack. So the ones who have bought the pack will get a bunch of new effects. And for those who are going to buy the pack, they will get even more effects in it. I'm just gonna drag it in here. And this is how the effect's going to look. It has this kind of cool looking grungy effect here. Super cool in my opinion. And if you guys want to check this pack out, I have a discount code for you guys, which is going to be Pelle. If you apply that code, you will save $5. And if you guys enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to like and subscribe and share the video. And if you really want to step up your editing, don't forget to check out our website, editingvisuals.com, where we have amazing editing packs that's really going to elevate your editing game. Also, don't forget to check out our socials, our Discord server, and I will see you guys soon. Take care and have a nice day.